Hey, good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah, good evening. Very well. Good, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. How are you Very guys? <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Very good. Well, actually, I don't know what's going on right now, but let me see if I can do my camera. Let me try again. The thing is that it is not as you know kind of recognizing the device. <clears throat> I'll share with you what it says here. Uh Hmm, I don't know what's going on, guys. Let's see. Look, I'm getting this message. I don't know what, what's going on. Well, give me a second. Let me go ahead and see if I can share the screen. Mm. One moment. What about now? Good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Keep it. One moment. I'm here, guys. I'm here. I'm trying to understand why it's not recognizing the camera. One moment. Well, if it doesn't work, so I'm, I'm going to leave it like that. It's not, believe me, it's not. Um, teacher, I will be listening because I'm working. Okay, Sandra Patricia, thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Thank you for um, letting me know beforehand. So, well, guys, I'm going to begin and I'm going to pass the attendance because it seems that I'm not able to make the camera work <laughs> for some reason. Um, let me see. Today is the 20th. So, let's begin. Alba Dir Portal Diaz. Here, teacher. Thank you, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana Francisca Garcia Nieto. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla. Present. Thank you, eh, Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Antonio Sanchez Joven. And Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzman. Jaime Dagoberto. And Jose Carlos Rodriguez Linares. Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Susena Ayala de Flores. Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. <coughs> Nady Ibis Mendez Albeño. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Antonio Morales Martinez. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Morales. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Daniel Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rosa Maria de Milagro Perez de Paz. I'm here. Thank you, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present. Thank you, Jensi Marlene Leon Lopez. And Zulma Beatriz Perez Galdames. Present. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, present teacher, dice Maria Susena y Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Wait, Jose Carlos Rodriguez, uh -huh. and Maria Susena. Maria Susena. Okay, cool. Vaya, chicos, ya les agregué su asistencia. Thank you so much. 
Okay, um, just very quickly, let me report the camera to um, one of the guys from the, from, from the uh, coordinate, coordinators department. One second. Um, I cannot find Victoria. Victoria, Victoria, okay, stop. One second. Okay. Yeah. So I just needed to let them know that the camera is not working. As you know, we have to turn on our cameras, right? Okay, let's see. I have a message. Teacher, I'll be as a listener. I am in traffic. Okay, Nady, thank you so much for letting me know. And don't forget, guys, that actually you have only three more days, right? Oh, it's working. Look, it's working now. Yay. I thought it was not going to be possible to use it today, but actually it is here. There we go. Going to report that as well. Oh, okay. Bear with me. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys, sad. <laughs> uh, I had this trouble from the very beginning. Well, I remember you were, uh, well, a couple of you were saying that you had a problem with an exercise that we had already resolved. But also I saw that uh, some of you took the lead and you were able to help your classmates, right? I was working at that time, so I couldn't go ahead and um, answer and I didn't have access to my um, to the computer, right? Generally, I don't access to the platform through a cell phone. Mm, I don't do it, but I understand that you can um, do your exercises through the phone. But um, I mean, not my case, actually, that's not how I do it. But anyways, okay, um, let's go ahead and continue. Last week, as I was saying before, we were able to complete some of the uh, information right that we have from the manual interesting and we were able to cover some of them uh, we even uh, finished the topic about the um advert time yeah advert time clauses right we were able to talk about reduction of those clauses and we stopped uh, when we were given you know pieces of advice right so uh, there were some phrases that we were studying and pretty much what we had to do is to give pieces of advice, okay? Now, the material, as you know, it's about to be um, complete, right? Probably between today and tomorrow, we will complete it. But also we can have a, uh, we can have a uh, review. We can have a review about present simple, which I think it's a very important topic and we can have a review on simple past, right? But if you have kind of a topic that you would like to discuss or that you would like me to explain, I can go ahead and, um, you know, explain it as well. So I am projecting myself that between tomorrow and Thursday, we can, you know, have a review about present and past. And I can, you know, share some material so you can have a better understanding on the matter. Now, where did we stop? We stopped here. We were given advice, right? And it says, have you ever thought of, since I know that I have a preposition of, what comes right after it's going to be a gerund? You might want to, esta, La segunda es, sub, es bien famosa cuando se está viendo un tutorial de YouTube, right? So when you're watching a tutorial on YouTube, they say you might want to cut the pieces of paper or you might want to um, mix, you know, the vegetables and, and, and the, uh, what, the dressing of the salad, etc., right? Then you have, it might not be a bad idea too, right? It might 
not be a bad idea too. And then you say the verb. The way I see it, you ought to. Como yo lo veo, te, deberías de. O tienes que. Right? Actually, tienes que would be a better, you know, trans interpretation for ought to. It's very similar to have to. Right? Tienes que. Okay? Instead of should. It goes more like with have. Mm -hmm. And I gave you a set of exercises last Friday. Do you remember? Um, you had to complete or at least to give pieces of advice on uh, the uh, the different sections or the different scenarios that you had on WhatsApp group. If you go to your WhatsApp group, you will be able to find, and I'm going to mention that here. Give me a second. Um... Okay, aquí se lo voy a marcar. So that that piece of um the exercise, right? It's where we stopped, right? So you gave me some um pieces of advice when I told you I want to improve my English pronunciation. So what should I do? Right? Then you have the rest of the uh of the exercises. I will show it in here. Give me a second. Wait. And again, guys, I would like to apologize because in your case, they only included four sections, right? Instead of including um, five sections as usual, they just included um, four of them, right? So um, that's the reason why. You know, they, there were only four sections in the manual, okay? So here you have the rest of the um, prompts, right? It says, my friend has told me lights about me and I'm angry. I want a new car, but I don't have enough money. So what should I do, right? I like to buy a pet, but I live in an apartment. What pets should I buy? I got my best friend's birthday yesterday. I forgot, I'm sorry. I forgot my best friend's birthday yesterday. So what should I do, right? Uh, I have a new job interview in English next week. How should I prepare for it, right? Uh, let's see the next one. I have problems getting to sleep at night. What should I do? I want to get a new phone. What phone should I buy it? Right. So let's go ahead and give some pieces of advice. What are you going to use? You're going to use what we shared in the WhatsApp group, which is this one. OK, so that's what you need to give pieces of advice. So are you ready? Let's begin with that one. It says, um, vaya chicos, I want to buy or I want a new car but I don't have enough money. So what should I do? What do you recommend? Use the phrases that we learned, okay? These phrases, these phrases, okay? So I want a new car, but I don't have enough money. What should I do? My uh, hard work. Okay, repeat it one more time. My hard work. Oh, but you have to use one of the phrases, right? You might. Ah, you I'm might sorry. Want to do. Uh -huh. Okay, the thing is that I've just heard the, the last part. Solo escuchaba la segunda parte. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, you might want to you might want to work hard or to do hard work. Okay, very good, excellent. Who else? King Mas. That's a very good piece of advice. Elio? The way. Yes. Yes, Marce. Okay. The way I see it, you ought to save money. Okay, very good. That's right. Yes, Elio? 
Thank you, Marcel. Mm, the way I pay, you ought to get a loan. You ought to get a loan. Okay, yeah, because sometimes even though you work hard, even though you save money, and it's not enough, right? Okay, thank you very much. Anyone else? Okay, let's continue with the next one. Thank you, guys. What about this one? It's number six. I have a job interview in English next week, so how should I prepare it? Or how should I get ready for that interview? I have a job interview in English next week. How should I prepare for it? What do you think? Yes, Eliu? Yeah. <clears throat> You might want to uh, look some tutorial. Okay. Uh, first, first, uh, two days. Uh, uh, in a way that you practice an interview with another person. Okay, very good. You might want to watch videos or tutorials, right? to learn yes. right to learn how to egg um what would be uh how to hold you know an interview with someone else okay thank you very much anyone else what would you recommend me guys yes marce it might might not be a bad idea to ask for someone who help you to practice your answers Mm, okay, very good. It might not be a bad idea to have someone to help you with the answers. Okay, I like that one. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Guys, I would like to buy a pet but I live in an apartment, it's very small. So what pet should I buy? What do you think? You might want to buy a parrot. Okay, you might want to buy a parrot. Very good, I like that one, okay? Because it's small, even though it's noisy, but at least it's a very small animal, okay? Very good, excellent. Anyone else? Se ve bien blurry la imagen, chicos, I'm sorry, pero it's kind of hard to see it. Okay, anyone else? about giving a piece of advice of, on having a small pet in a small apartment. Okay, what about this one? I have problems getting to sleep at night, guys. I just go to bed. I don't drink coffee in the afternoon. I um, just do what I have to do. I go to bed and I have problems getting to sleep at night. So guys, what should I do? Okay, Marce, diga. And you then ought to practice exercise. Okay, you ought to uh, practice exercises. What about you, Elio? Uh, it might not be a bad idea to drink uh, valerian tea. Okay, very good. Some tea, right? Some relaxant herbal tea. Okay, yeah, why not, right? Cool. Uh, I mean, once or twice, <laughs> um, in my case, guys, I love coffee. And I think one of the most difficult things to do is to drink the caffeine coffee, you know, in the evening. But in my case, if I drink coffee in the evening, especially after 2 p.m., so I know that I'm going to be, you know, having trouble falling asleep. So once or twice, I decided to switch and I said, no, I'm going to drink, you know, a chamomile or manzanilla, decimos en español, chamomile me, uh, tea if, for, for dinner. So <laughs> I think it happened twice that I drank my chamomile tea before the class. So I was falling asleep during class. I was just 
I, I just couldn't bear it anymore because it works. It really works. So whenever you you really want to fall asleep and if you want to drink tea, please do it just before you go to bed. Otherwise, you will fall asleep almost immediately and that will be like this, right? So um, yeah, don't drink coffee. Uh, that late because we say no es que no descanse nada es que me levanté como que no dormí y, y tuve un montón de sueños y total que no puedo descansar but that's the reason why because you drink coffee and the caffeine gets stored in your body and your brain continues you know working with that caffeine so be careful don't drink coffee that that uh, late at night or late in the evening so uh, let me move to the next inf uh, piece of information that we have so it says good a good night's sleep now that we're talking about sleeping a good night's sleep it says um read the statements about sleep habits right and check the statements that are true for you look at the ones that we have it says well um can you see guys uh the letters can you read them yes okay yeah. so very good yes. i have one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine. I need volunteers to read the sentences, please. Um, at least two, um, I mean, two each, right? So, Sulma, can you please read one and two? Okay. I sometimes lie awake at night, even if I am really tired. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, cualquier parecido es pura coincidencia, right? Uh, can you read number two? Uh, porque vamos de dos en dos, Zulma. So one and two. Okay. I'm lucky I can get be by on a, by on a six hours for a sleep, considering that most people need eight. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Rafael, can you please read the next two and then Eliu? I am a light sleeper, so any little noise wake me up unless i really tired. Thank you. The I can one. manage on five hours of sleep as long as I take a nap during the day. Okay, thank you very much. What about the next two, Eliu? Yes, unless I got a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school, at work, at even while driving. Okay, very uh, good. Continue. I always set two alarm clocks just in case one of, of them doesn't go off. <laughs> Also, right, cualquier pasión por coincidencia. Thank you, okay. Uh, and what more volunteers? We have still uh, two or three. Yes, um, Rodrigo, continue, please. I only wake up early if I have somewhere to be in the morning. I never have any trouble sleeping. And the last one? I'm exhausted. Every morning, even if I slept great all night. Okay, very good. Exactly that phrase, right? Uh, okay, so let's take a look at it. Think about you and think about the ones that are true for you. Let's go ahead and number them. I'm going to number them. Give me a second. Eh, mientras hago esto, pregunta en español, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerden que, no sé si usted, bueno, no sé si... Um, Recuerden, mejor dicho, de lo que hablamos el, el jueves pasado, pero por cuestión de um, por cuestión del, del proceso, chicos, que ustedes tienen para lo, lo de la inscripción, you needed to finish your um, platform eh, work today, right? Para hoy tenía que completarlo porque creo que tiene que ver con lo de... Um, la fecha de inscripción. Así que si no lo han terminado, please los invito a que puedan finalizarlo este día. Y si tienen preguntas con respecto a, a, lo, a lo que um, le, les hace falta o siempre relacionado con, ups, con el, con el, ay, I don't know what I did. Let's leave it like that. 
Si tienen preguntas con alguno de los ejercicios que no han hecho aún, avísenme, please, so I can help you, okay? Because otherwise, eh, that is going to affect, you know, the, um, um, the dates, las fechas para, para que ustedes puedan inscribirse. Entonces, I don't know if, um, If all of you have already finished, no sé si hay alguien que haga falta, no sé si la persona que preguntó por el ejercicio hoy en la, en la mañana ya lo completó o si todavía estamos eh, pendientes con, con algún ejercicio. No, teacher. Todo bien. Yes. Bye. Uh, teacher, um, uh -huh. so, uh, sí, yo tengo una, una, una petición por ahí. Ah, yes. En, 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 el, en la parte 3. En el eh, 3.5, en la parte 2, hay una, eh, no me sale por ningún lado la respuesta, solo, eh, hay, solo he puesto, puesto una que tiene que ver con el climate, climate y de, no, 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 no encuentro la respuesta de eso. Y eso es en la sección 3, me dice. En la sección 3, sí, en, en la parte 2. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Sorry. So, no. No, no problem. In that case, I'll be more than glad. We're going to uh, go to section uh, three, right? Yes. And we're going to uh, check that exercise for you, okay? But besides Erasmo, aparte de Erasmo, sí. alguien más? Someone else? So I understand the rest has already finished, right? Okay. Los demás ya terminaron. Va. Okay, Perfect. Gracias. You're welcome, Erasmo. Ya vamos a irnos a la parte... Eh, Uh, section three, okay, and I will check it for you, okay? Um, okay, just let me number them here and think about you, okay? So what are the ones that are true for you? Go to the chat and please type the numbers that are true for you. Los que sean, que se dan en, en, en su caso, ¿verdad? En su vida, okay? So go to the, the, the chat and type the numbers that go with you. This is kind of a you know, uh, habit tracker, right? Or habits uh, checker, right? Oops, this is number eight and we have nine. Okay, there we go. So if I think about me, okay, I will tell you which are the ones that are true for me. Probably for me, it's going to be Number one, unfortunately, number one, it's true for me. Um, number seven, in a way, I mean, I always wake up early, but I am more willing to wake up early if I have somewhere to go or to be in the morning. And number nine, sometimes, but not all the time, okay? So these are the ones that uh, are, you know, true for me. What about you? Okay, tell me, Claudia. I'm not sorry, Marce. Yes? About... Goodbye is a phrase number, right? Which one? I'm sorry, which number? Uh, the number two. Number two, two. uh-huh. It's a phrase number, right? Uh, I'm lucky and I can get by on, I can get by on uh, six hours of sleep. By, get by is the one that you're asking for, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not pretty sure. I think it's a phrasal verb, but let me just double check. Yep, that's correct. It's a phrasal verb, get by. get by, and it means manage with difficulty to live or accomplish something, right? So, arreglárselas con algo, right? So, yeah. get by, uh -huh. it's Thanks. like, you're welcome. It's like struggling, but... It says to manage to live or do a particular thing using the money, knowledge, equipment, etc. that you have. Okay, so kind of doing your best with what you have. Mm -hmm. 
So let me take a look at the uh, Eleusis 1 and 2. I sometimes lie awake at, not, at night even if I'm really tired. Okay. And I'm lucky I can get by on six hours of sleep considering that most people need eight yeah that's totally true and unfortunately your body get used to it right and um there's a point where you know you cannot uh, go back and remember guys you have to sleep as much as possible because it's when your body uh probably i don't know if i have to say it like that but you get recharged, right? You get restored and it's your brain is like a computer, right? So that's the time where your, you know, brain uh, needs to uh, rest and to like kind of restart itself, right? So we need to sleep. La que menos duerme la que da el consejo, pero we need to sleep. Dice Marce, one, three, five, and nine. One, okay, three. I'm a light sleeper. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, Marce. It's so terrible, right? Uh, to be a slight sleeper. Number five, unless I get a good night's sleep, I can easily fall asleep at school. Yeah, that one is another one, right? So it's very sad because you can you can help it. You can't help it. It's like um, es casi imposible pues no hacerlo. Then number nine, I'm exhausted every morning, even. Uh, even if I slept great all night. Yeah, it happens, but uh, consider what you ate, right? Because uh, we say, oh, I had nightmares. Yes, but what do you have for dinner? Or I had eight slices of pizza. Obviously, you're going to have nightmares. You're going to have trouble sleeping if you ate a lot, right? So you have to um, eat at least or at uh, you have to stop eating at least two hours before you go to bed. So your digestion, you know, goes smooth. And once you go to bed, your stomach has already finished with that process and then you can rest, right? So questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about vocabulary words? No? Okay, very good. Now guys, there, is, there are, I'm sorry, some expressions related to sleep. Okay, and it says put these expressions about sleep in the columns, then compare answers. We have four different categories. We have having trouble sleeping, falling asleep, falling asleep, I'm sorry, sleeping a short time, and sleeping deeply, right? So, <laughs> which is what we strive for, right? Be fast asleep. So please just write down if you don't if you have a notebook, write down the different categories and organize you know the different uh, phrases or expressions that we have. In the meantime, let me go to the section uh, Erasmo was telling me about. Give me one moment. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you remember the exercise number Erasmo in number yeah. nine? Esa, el, um, la parte 3.5. Okay, 3.5. Okay, uh, I'll show it to you. Give me a moment, guys. Is it this one? It's, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's, this one we resolved it last week. Creo que lo resolvimos la semana pasada, but if you uh, don't have it, esa creo que era el problema, ¿verdad? Que, yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ahorita se lo voy a pasar aquí en el chat. Muchas gracias. Okay, there you go. And the answer, it says instruction, listen, type in the city features that Carol and Vicky mentioned, right? So it's climate, climate architecture, architecture, landmarks, landmark, nightlife, yeah. and cuisine. And mm -hmm. cuisine, okay. Mm -hmm. You're That's welcome. Uh, I, I se lo puse en el chat de, um, de Zoom también. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. okay. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let me know when you're ready, please.
Hello, wife. Thank you, teacher. Yep, tell me. Oh, okay, it worked. Excellent. Good. Aparte de Erasmo, espero que pues todos hayan podido contestar. ¿Verdad? Igual, eh, if you have any question, now it's the time, right? And I can go ahead and 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 um, show you or resolve that specific part, you know, uh, that you're having problem with. Okay, guys, first, let's go ahead and check each of the phrases, okay? So, be fast asleep. Be fast asleep. So, be fast asleep means that <laughs> that type of person, I don't know if you know someone like that. I know someone very well, right? Um, and that's the type of person who would fall asleep deeply, and very quickly. So is that type of person who is sitting on the couch and all of a sudden he or she is watching TV and, you know, that person falls asleep super quickly and deeply, right? So it's like, um, I don't know, it's kind of a um, an advantage for them, right? To fall asleep quickly and to sleep deeply. Then we have be sound asleep. Right, be sound asleep. Uh, in that case, that would be something like profundamente dormido. Right, so that would be sound asleep, profundamente dormido. So if you find someone, you know, that it's sleeping and deeply, right, so that's going to be sleep, uh, sound asleep, profundamente dormido. Then we have, um, wide uh be wide awake now be wide awake is to um um like the, the first you know the number one in the previous list that you cannot fall asleep wide awake means that uh you are completely you know um active in your brain right your eyesight are open you cannot concile you know uh, the fact of falling asleep quickly and you are unable just to try to rest right so that's uh whenever we rosa maria is what we're having oh okay ya voy a contestar so that's to be wide awake. Estar completamente despierto, decimos nosotros, okay? Drift, drift, top, drift, top. It's whenever we are talking about falling asleep. O sea, drift off es eso, fall asleep. Fall asleep, right, is drift off. Then we have feel drowsy, right? Listen. Feel drowsy, right? So whenever you feel drowsy, is that you feel sleepy, o somnoliento, o, o con sueño decimos nosotros. I feel drowsy, so you feel sleepy, right? Luego have a sleepless night, es cuando hemos tenido una noche terrible y no pudimos dormir, no pudimos conciliar el sueño. I had a sleepless night, a sleepless night yesterday, right? Then we have the next one, which is not off. Not, not off, it's an idiom, right? And it means the same. It means to fall asleep. Fall asleep. That is not off. And whenever you do this, you note when someone asks you, hey, um, did you bring the package? And I, and I do something like this. Right, yes, I know. Know es cuando se contesta pues con un movimiento, ¿verdad? En, en, en su cabeza, you know. So not off is you fall asleep. Whenever we fall asleep, we tend to nod our heads, you know. Uh, and then we just um, lose consciousness, right? Then we have sleep like a dog, meaning that you are sleeping deeply, right? Then take a power nap means that you're going to fall asleep for a very short period of time so you can feel better and restore energy. And we have a toss and turn, right? In that case, toss and turn, guys, it's lo que llamamos en español es que esa persona es loca para dormir, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Toss and turn, it's to move. 
about and to turn over, you know, in bed because you are unable to sleep. Cuando está que se mueve de un lado, que se mueve para el otro, que va por una sábana, que se quita los calcetines, que no, mejor no, voy al baño, que regreso. And then you start moving, you know, and turning over, you know, the bed. So that is to turn, to toss and turn, toss and turn, right? For example, I can say, oh, she was tossing and turning all night. So she couldn't fall asleep, right? She couldn't fall asleep. So after explaining all of them, after explaining, you know, what they mean, how can we classify them, right? So let's go ahead and have the first set, okay? First set is going to be this one. Okay, so having trouble sleeping, which are the ones that you can include here, guys? Yes, Marce? Be wide awake and... Hmm. Be wide awake, Have yes. And have a sleepless night. Sleepless night. Sleepless night. Okay, very good. Yes. Probably these two would fit perfect here, right? So be wide awake and have a sleepless night. Very good. What about falling asleep? We will come back if we need to add more. Don't worry. What about falling asleep? We have several here. Sleep like a, a log. Sleep, sleep like a log. Sleep like a dog. But sleep yeah. like a dog means that you are um sleep sleeping deeply, right? Mm -hmm. So probably that one should be here. Sleep like a dog, right? Sleep like a dog. Okay. So meaning that you're sleeping deeply. A log, like a tronco. Ah, like a lock. Ay, sorry, my, my bad. Cabal, exacto. Es la misma que tenemos en español. Sleep like a lock. Dormir como un tronco, decimos nosotros. Ok. Very good. What else? What about falling asleep? We haven't included anyone, I mean, any of them here. Three, four. Okay, falling asleep, three, four. Okay, muy bien. Oops, three, off. Very good. Any other? Not off. Ah, muy bien. Not off okay so we have those two very good so what about sleeping a short time sleeping a short time take a power nap mm -hmm. take a power nap very good take a power nap excellent can we include anything else here Sleep in a short time. Be fast asleep. Mm, no, because that one is here in a sleeping deeply. Be fast asleep. Mm -hmm. What about what about be sound asleep? Where would you put be sound asleep? No sé si esa es la que me dijo usted, Elio. Yeah. Okay, so be, be sound be asleep. Up. Okay. So is that for sleeping a short time or for sleeping deeply? Uh, if we go here what uh, with the information that I be, was sharing with you. Go ahead. Okay, I think that is sleeping a short time. Sleep. Be sound asleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
if you go here to the browser, if you go to the website, right, it says that sound sleep, it means sleeping deeply, o profundamente dormido, right? That sounds sound asleep, right? So uh -huh. we need to, oops, give me a second, I'm going to close this. I'm going to put here. So in that case, probably we should include that one here, right? So that is a B sound asleep. Okay, B sound asleep. Very good. Okay. Cuánta llevamos? Let's see. We have B fat sleep. Ya la tenemos. B sound sleep. We already have it. Reef buff, which is fall sleep, uh, not off. Sleep like a log, okay. Take a power nap, very good. And have a sleepless night. What about the rest? We still have be wide awake and also we have feel drowsy and toss and turn. Where would you uh, place or where would you classify them? How would you classify them? Would you like to explain feel drowsily, please? Feel drowsily? Drowsy. drowsy. Okay, feel drowsy is whenever you um, you want to sleep and you feel sleepy. Yeah. Soñoliento. Yep, exactly. That, that one is a difficult one, right? Yes. Oh. Uh, I cannot include take a power nap. Ya me lo habían dicho. Sorry. Take a power nap. Okay. Should we include that one here in sleeping for a short time? Because actually, whenever we feel sleepy, we sleep for a short time. But I don't know. What do you What do you think? Oh, what What about no? But falling asleep. Probably here, feel drowsy because if we are sleepy, it's because we want to fall asleep, right? Drowsy. Yes. Uh huh. Very good. What about be wide awake? Be wide awake. That is in the first one. Okay, yes, actually. Sleeping. Yeah, I agree with you, Marce, over here, right? Be wide awake, okay? Be wide awake, very good. And what about the last one? This one, be wide awake, we already have it. Feel drowsy, and what about toss and turn? Toss and turn. Remember, it's whenever you are, um, you cannot sleep, and you have to move and turn over in bed because you are unable to sleep. So, when do you move constantly? Um, is it because you want to sleep, or is it because you fall asleep quickly? Because I want to sleep, but exactly. I have a problem sleeping. Exactly. So in that case, we need to go ahead and add it here, right? So toss and turn, right? Toss and turn. And here we have the classification of all those verbs, right? Or uh, expressions, right? Expressions. So I'm going to read them one more time. Be wide awake. Have a sleepless night, right? Ah, be wide awake. I typed it twice. Look, uh, toss and turn, drift off, uh, not off, feel drowsy. We um, added that into the uh, falling asleep category. Then sleep in a short time, take a power nap, 
right? And sleeping deeply, be fast asleep, sleep like a log, and be sound asleep. It says, use the expression to ask and answer questions, right? Do you ever take a power nap during the day? And we have the answer, not really. Whenever I try to take a nap, I end up sleeping until the next morning. But let me ask you something. What do you what do you do when you feel drowsy after lunch? Guys, does it happen to you? Does it happen to you that you feel drowsy after lunch? Do you feel like falling asleep? Or do you feel kind of sleepy after lunch? Does it happen to you? Yes, Marce. How do you say ma mal del cerdo in, this, in English? No idea. What is that? Tell me. I don't know about it. <laughs> is that is that a fact when you eat a lot and then you want to sleep in that moment? Uh, people say that is like a, the el mal de del cerdo, but I don't oh. know how to say in English. Wow, I didn't know that. Um, that's sort of new for me. Let me see. Hmm. There must be something here. <laughs> I found food comma. Food comma. Um, food comma. Yeah. If I go to Lingui and see. Um, let me see, food, comma. Um, if I, uh, I mean, if I enter, you know, uh, Mal del Puerco in here, um, let me erase all this. Um, I found this one here, but it says food comma, right? Food comma. And it says, esta frase se puede traducir literalmente como the cars of the peak. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and check the cars of the peak. Mm, look, I don't know if it's if it's the right you know interpretation, but it says, um, it's this is this expression is used when you eat a lot or enough food, and then you feel sleepy. Kind of after you finish to eat, uh, you are like I don't want to do anything, and you just want to rest. So this is taken from a Mexican slang, right? The curse of the peak. Um, is it true? Does it happen? Well, apparently it, that's the name, uh, Marce. Thank you. You're welcome. I guess. But, but apparently that's the translation they have um, given to that phrase. But no, I didn't know that that was the name. But also you can say food comma, right? Food comma. So food comma <laughs> will be something like that, that uh, after you eat, you are unable like to continue with your activities. You need to sleep, right? And and um, it happens, you know, to certain people, especially when you eat pasta, right? Because pasta for some reason is digested slowly, right? And then if you eat like more vegetables and things like those, not, you know, that many carbohydrates, that's um, that's a lot faster than eating carbohydrates or past, well, pasta, which is a carbohydrate, right? So, well, guys, any question related to um, to the manual? Any question related to what we have studied? No? How do you write carbo carbohydrate? Yeah. How do you write? Ahorita. Carbohydrate. I'm going to type, I mean, I type in here in the chat. There you go. Carbohydrate or car carbohydrates, right? Anyone else? 
I'm going to show you here the manual. Vaya, chicos, de lo que hemos visto del manual, I was using these expressions, right? Also, there are some things related to topic sentences, but obviously that topic, it's, um, it's more complex, okay? Because we need to start from the very beginning, right? Uh, here, it goes directly to certain points throughout the manual, but it doesn't give you like more information. So look, the name of this lesson was tossing and turning, right? So whenever you cannot sleep and you move from one place to another. So here is where we stop. Aquí nos hemos detenido, right? What are we going to study tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to read a little bit about classes. I mean, classes stating reasons and conditions. Um, the topics for these uh, particular, you know, sections are uh, totally related to classes, right? And I don't know, guys, if you were able to gather like the most important details about classes, because if you haven't, you still can ask questions related to this topic, right? I know that there are uh, very few exercises on the platform, but if you're interested in getting more, we can go ahead and look for more, right? But tomorrow we're going to be talking about classes, more classes, but this time classes that state reason and condition, right? So uh, also we have some exercises and that's gonna be it, right? Pretty much that's like the, that's the information that we need to cover, right? Yeah, ahí es donde termina el manual. Okay, so we are about to finish, guys. I totally encourage you to uh, write down your questions if you have, so I can answer them. And right now I'm going to finish and I'm going to pass the attendance. Give me one moment, I'm going to open the attendance. Okay, let's go. Y ya voy a contestar el chat, guys, porque I'm sorry, but once I'm here, I'm unable like, to, to read. Ya le voy a contestar lo demás. So, Alba Dir Portal Díaz. Present. Thank you, Alejandra Elizabeth Mendoza Arias. Here, teacher. Thank you, Ana Francisca García Nieto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. Present. Thank you. Diego Anthony Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Eliu Fuentes Velarde. Present. Thank you, Erasmo Perla Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco Antonio Sánchez Jovel. Uh, Jaime Dagoberto Barrera Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Uh, Jose Carlos Rodríguez Linares. Present. Thank you, Jose Francisco Peña Peña. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Jose Jovito Torres Amaya. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jose Jovito. Y disculpe, creo que usted me había mandado un mensaje, pero no, como estaba en eso que hablaba, creo que ni siquiera lo puse acá, pero sí, ya, ya le puse su asistencia. Thank you very much. Okay. Eh, uh -huh. eh, Mayra Lorena Portillo de Perla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, María Susena Ayala de Flores. Present. Thank you, Marvin Joseph Salazar Alas. Marvin Joseph, no. Okay, Nady Ibis Mendez Albeño. Present teacher. Thank you, Rafael Antonio Present. Morales Martinez. Thank you. Present. Thank you. Uh, Rodrigo Antonio Melendez Morales. Present. Thank you, Rodrigo Daniel Melendez Mayen. Present. Thank you, Rosa Maria del Milagro Perez de Paz. Present. Thank you, Sandra Patricia Merino Moreno. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jensi Marlene Leon López. Present, teacher. Thank, thank you, Jensi and Zulma Beatriz Pérez Galdames. Present. Thank you, ay, perdón, y José Isaías Portillo Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Bueno, guys, thank you very much for joining today. Let's meet tomorrow and have a wonderful evening. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.